and we're recording Marcus DQ Lifestyle Podcast with me, Mark <laughs> Shatty. Uh, let me turn this mic down. Shatty, 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 Shatty. So we're going to do it a little bit differently on this one. Time bound and that. Got a few things on, but I'm trying to stay consistent with this thing. I watched the podcast yesterday, not mine, someone else's, and they were saying how in the world is four million podcasts, and only I can't remember exactly the numbers, but I'll just give you what I can remember. So there's like four million podcasts in the world, only so many make it past episode three, like a, a percentage, and only so many make it past episode ten. So, yo, we're going strong. Episode 17, I think. You know, I swear it's 17. So, yeah, so this one. Yes, I'm trying to stay consistent. Obviously, got a lifestyle, you know, but I'm trying to... I'm, it's getting closer to the how I want to do it now. Um, uh, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And I've been getting some good feedback uh, from you guys. So, big up yourselves. Um... Yeah, not want to mention no names in case you don't want your names mentioning, but thank you. you know I mean, you sent me some positive messages and stuff and it means something still. Because actually, you know what? It's not even on my list, but I will talk about it actually. Um, positive reinforcement. So I was, it was, when I was talking about something or other anyway, and they're just like saying, you know what? Your honesty and you're this and that you're doing good, keep doing what you're doing, da, 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 along those lines. And... Um, you know, I was just saying it's like, it's good to know that you're feeling it and stuff and, and what you're feeling and what you're getting from it. And um, it's positive reinforcement. You're reinforcing something that I like doing or something that I'm doing. And a lot of us growing up, actually, you know what? I will not even put it on the board. One, two, I've got five things on the board. None of them are positive, but positive reinforcement is positive. Um, and shame, I haven't got shame on there. So I've got expectations, resilience, hope, rejection, and catastrophize. And I'm hoping to shed a little light on these. But I'm time bound. I don't want to be on it for an hour. I don't want to be on here for an hour. <laughs> so I want to get this done, get it edited, bang out the trailer today. Um, and get this queued, ready for Sunday on all platforms, listening platforms, and YouTube. Yes, so positive reinforcement. A lot of us don't get it. When we're doing something that we like to do growing up, I'm taking it back to child. It's always child of man. They the fuck us them. They fuck us up round it. Big up mommy and daddy though, because they're doing their best. Yeah? Did their best, still doing their best. Big up yourselves, you know what I mean? Love you both. Um so yeah. Um we're doing something that we like and some our brothers, sisters, mums, dads, friends, uncles, aunties, whatever, a laugh. They'll laugh at us. And what that does, we get all like, Ooh, kind of, you know, we get all like, you know what I mean? And you don't want to do it. Because you know what that is? That's shame. They're shaming us. So, but the shame lasts. And it's just the feeling like, oh, I'm doing something wrong or I don't want to do that. Like, I'm bad. Like, that thing's bad. I shouldn't be doing that thing. Do you know what I mean? So shame can come from just like laughing at something silly or shame like, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing that. Da, 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 and build up the shame that way. Then it's like shaping our belief system. I'll talk about belief systems on another one. Um, just to reiterate, belief systems. Words are being, they're not being hijacked, but they're used so commonly in certain, um, in certain areas of life that we just think that that word means that. So as soon as you hear belief, you think of religion. It's not like, I can have belief in you. I don't worship you, do you know what I mean? But I believe that you can do that. It's something that you believe, you know. I believe people should be nice. That's part of my belief system. I believe that was a bad boy. I believed it. That was my belief, you know what I mean? I believed some other people were. No, I don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't respect you. Uh, but I believed it. It was part of my belief system, Yeah. But we'll get onto that next one, our next one. So it's just what we believe. And a lot of times, just to get a little uh, heads up on things, like what you think should happen or people should do 
their beliefs. You should have told him. You should have told her. You should have gone there. I have done this. That's what. That's what you should have done. The shoulds or what you believed should have happened, or what you believed was the right course of action for that interaction or that event or that situation. Blah blah blah. So yeah, think about what you what your shoulds are when you're talking to someone. Try and catch yourself when you're saying should, or try and catch someone say, "Oh, you're saying should there? Oh, that's a should. That's their beliefs. You can start and pick up on who they are." Because I've met some mad people recently that are giving me some mad shoulds. <laughs> what they believe, like anyway. But yeah, but it's fine. Um, so positive reinforcement. We don't get it a lot growing up. Not everybody, and it creates shame. And it also creates like an ambiguity in it. Like it creates like a, a confusion in us into what's right. Which is like, I would like to do that, but I can't. Because it gets laughed at and ridiculed. And, you know, you feel um, it's just going to lead back to rejection, which is on the board, which I want to, something I want to talk about because it's massive. Rejection is possibly like saturates a hundred percent of our life, meaning it's just all over our lives everywhere rejection some form of rejection whether it's ringing somebody up and them not answering the phone feeling rejected trying to go for a job not getting it feeling rejected even if they didn't ring you up and say oh sorry uh, you didn't um, get to the next stage on this one unfortunately da, 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 da. people try and soften the blow of rejection it's just a nice thing to do because people know people feel bad afterwards the feeling bad afterwards is the feeling of is feeling rejected um, you know, you go to somebody that you like, you ask them out or ask them for their number, they turn you down, rejection. That's where we know this word from normally. Like, oh, rejected you, they rejected me. That's where, so that's another one. Belief, we think about religion. Rejected, we think about like going forward and asking somebody. So speaking in this, in this, so look, it might just be not everyone, but maybe it's just mine. Like some of the things I look at, like YouTube's just feeding me bare stuff through of like people on this manosphere thing. I don't even fully know what that is yet. I need to look into that. Um, obviously all this, you know, it's just loads of relationship stuff these days and how bad men are or how bad women are. And then maybe someone's calling the other out and blah, 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 blah. And, and the dating team seems to be in a shambles when, is it? Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, so rejection, what else? This rejection could be even something as silly as like trying to switch your phone on and it doesn't switch on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's literally everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's every thing when you're wanting something to and it doesn't happen or you don't get it. It's like, <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? That rejection. And we know, so if you think about it, if you just like try and think where you'll be rejected, it... It's not a nice feeling. It's just not nice. Probably like one of the worst feelings. Because obviously it's not, it's, that's the feeling of, which leads into like the emotion of sadness. Do you know what I mean? People may get angry, but anger, as I've mentioned before, is a secondary emotion. We go to anger generally after sadness, but it's just so quick. We just transmute it. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Transmute, tell me where it is. Comment below. Yeah, so we just like transform that inf that, that uh, emotion into anger. So generally when people are angry, they're upset about something. Upset is a feeling coming from the emotion. Sadness, again, so yeah. Um, so yeah, rejection. Yeah, I just there's, there's not really much to really fully go on on that. It'll come in and out of other things that I talk about. So that's, but that's just it in a nutshell, just to get it to the forefront. Because what it is, it's like, I'm, a lot of the time when I talk to you, I talk to you in counselling terms. So it's what, what words are used there, which counselling is like the terms for like the, for like the, for us like different words are like used for different things, but it still stands for this, the same a lot of the time. Like some words have, are just used for completely different things, but we won't get into that at the moment because we don't need to. So, that's number four on the list. I didn't put it in any particular order. I was just looking at another list. <laughs> I remember some things off the top of my head and then I looked at the list and so, but rejection's there and it'll come up in other like, pods when I'm going into my regular ones where I'm 
storytelling around like the prison and my change and what made me realize how I was and what the situation was that made me realize it and how I went forward being like not changing it, like trying something different. Um, but to be honest, I won't really go into that. I was going to like what made me realize really. Um, but yeah, so expectations is another one. Massive, massive. So that's just definitely 100% of your life expectations, what you expect to happen. Do you know what I mean? Like you may, once again, expect people to be nice. You may expect people to slow down when you're crossing the road. You may expect people to not rev their engines when you're crossing the road. You may expect people to not cut you off when you're driving. You may expect people to, just bear driving references. You may expect people to like, when you're at a giveaway, let you out. Do you not have to bully your way out? Do you know what I mean? You may expect partners to be a certain way. You may expect friends to do certain things. And when these expectations aren't made, it's like, just imagine, it's a bit of a silly analogy. I'll try and think of a better one. Like a piece of wood. Your expectation is a piece of wood. Do you know what I mean? And when someone met it, me, it, boom, they just snapped your piece of wood and threw it down. Do you know what I mean? You got ballistic. What? Not let me, what are you having the engine for? Why aren't they letting me out? Beep, beep, beep. Why are you cutting me off? Blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? Like, we got, when our expectations aren't met, we expect our kids to be good in public. And when they kick off, we got, we, we might even hold it down in public. Ah, like, oh, they're just being a bit, da, 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 da. which you, you know, you know what I mean? Or like, yeah, yeah, give your hand, give your hand. And squeeze that bomb buck like, yeah, being a victim of that. Big up, mommy. <laughs> but I was a little bastard, see, and that's it. Hey, me not listen. Mixed race, innit? Mixed race kids don't listen. I mean, yeah, um, just a random thing one time, yeah? I've always thought mixed race are like a bit, I don't know, just seem a bit different. Like, even like mixed race girl, like all mixed race girl are like tomboys. Why is that? Like some white girls are, some black girls are like tomboys. All mixed race girls are tomboys. There's all white lads and like, like you climb up, climb up a tree with boys and that turn around, mixed race girls just there. We, we demand them. <laughs> like, yo, what we'll do we next? Trying to get away from you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? How are you? Anyway. Uh, I was reading a book called Cocky about uh, uh, Curtis Warren, London, uh, Liverpool, like drug smuggler, gangster, whatever. I told you I was into the gangster stuff hard, man. And uh, the first chapter, the first bit, it's got every chapter starts with like a little blurb, like a little something from somewhere. And it was saying about like, when a white kid's bad, he's bad. When a black kid's bad, he's bad. But when a mixed race kid's bad, he's evil. <laughs> I must have been like 2021, 20, I thought, I've had these kind of thoughts, like, mixed race are just like, just different, do you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, that's just a little side note. Expectations. So, uh, yeah, Cocky Warrior is mixed race as well. Um, expectations. So yeah, when our expectations aren't met, we are not happy one bit. So if we can start to begin to understand, so this is goes in, this will be a good one for like in relationships. Re rejection as well, because when rejection's in relationships, like, oh, you know, can you do that, babe? No, or can you, did it, no, like, are you answering your foot? No, like, all these things, like, to be able to talk through it and realize it's just rejection I'm feeling. So obviously the mind wonders. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, part of these podcasts are to get you to the feelings because the feelings don't go nowhere. For one, feelings subside, sub, like, they go. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's something that we all understand. We're not continuously angry. angry. Anger only lasts, generally, they say, about 30 minutes. And it disappears, like, full-blown anger. So if something's gone off, if you can last 30 minutes, then the anger subsides and goes. But this is when it comes down to, like, Friends, we'll talk about that one on the next one. Criminal peers, we'll just call them criminal peers because that's the lingo that they use on the on the TC that I was on. Um, I'm on a bomb like criminal around there. I didn't even know I was a criminal. I did not. They're trying to say you're a criminal. I said, I'm not a criminal. They said, but you're in prison. I said, yeah, but I guess so. But you said you sold drugs every day all day. Yeah, I was a, I was a, I was a trap, a trapped, not a criminal. Because I thought criminals were like burglars and thieves. <laughs> I've always seen criminals as burglars and thieves and crackheads, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Big up everybody, though, because everybody's got their graft, you know what I mean? But that's just where my head was at on a, but we'll talk about that more on the Criminal Peers one. This is going to last the hour, this. Fuck's sake, I'm just a waffler. Anyway, uh, when we're there, expectations, um, 
I don't know, but anyway, relationships, yeah. So when you expect your partner to do this, that, and the other, or expect them to be like this, especially see me, like in relationships, I never told the girl what I expected. To be honest, I didn't know about expectations. Obviously, I've learned all this on the TC and stuff, do you know what I mean? Um, but I never told them what I expected. I just used to let them be them. And when they fucked up, in my mind, them gone, them relegated, they were number one. I always had like a bag of things. They was number one. They've dropped down. I don't even know where they are now. Do you know what I mean? Like my, I'm like hurt and upset because I'm feeling rejected. I'm feeling upset. Hurt. Now I feel like I can't trust them because of the trauma growing up because that's the woman like blueprint is from the mum. I swear I've spoke about this before. So they're even done like certain things. They've just like forgot to do this or they didn't do that. And or when they did that thing, it wasn't a hundred percent how I like it to be done. So that means in my mind, because that expectation weren't met. I think this, 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 these other 60,000 things are going to happen that happened to me in childhood. Do you know what I mean? Where I'm left behind. I'm not thought about. I'm not cared for. I'm not, I'm neglected. I'm abandoned. Do you know what I mean? Like, but it hasn't happened like that. Do you know what I mean? But this is, these are the mad connections that we make and ruin our own relationships constantly. Do you know what I mean? So I see all these memes and that and people putting them up and bloody blur and, and this, this says things like that, what I've just said, do you know what I mean? And people kind of half recognise it these days. I don't know if it's with age or if it's just the signs of the times, like it's just so apparent because it's about so much. It's in, it's on, it's on soaps and it's in like movies and, and uh, other things. So it's like becomes apparent so people can recognise it. But that's only part of it. It's being able to change it, to, to be able to understand it. Like, why do we do that? Yeah, that's what we do. But why do we do that? Then understanding like why we do do that. And then thinking, right, so underneath that, so level ones, this is what I do. Next level, why do I do that? Where did it come from? That's the real question. Where did it come from? Where did I start doing that? What is the reason that I started to react like that? Then it's like, what can I do next? Once you understand that bit, what can I do next? What would benefit me? And you can even just go through all your interactions. So this is what I do. And then see where you've done it with different people at different times for different reasons. What are the feelings involved? What feeling happens for me to react like that? Rejection. <laughs> but, but literally that'll pop up in everything. All these things that I talk about, all these different pods and all these pods to come, there'll be a rejection in there. You better spot it whether I say it or not. You know, the ones there because I've got a lot of, so things get said, things get missed. And yeah, you know, say I'm dying to burp in it, but we're just all it down around I don't know where it is. I am hungry though, but yeah. Uh, so yeah. Understand, so like looking through your history, your history will tell you everything you need to know about why you are like you are now, why you did it, who did it, or what the, it's not even that who did it, it don't matter the person, the person doesn't really matter, it was the set of behaviours that they did, stern look, certain tone, certain words, certain actions, would he drunk, could you smell like, um, you know, smoke, was it like cigarette smoke? Was it weed smoke? Was it was it brown? Was it crack? Do you know what I mean? Like certain things will tell you, do you know what I mean? Did they work? Did, 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 did. Like certain behaviours will tell you. So no matter who has these behaviours, that's how they're going to roughly act. Do you know what I mean? Because there'll be a pattern of behaviour that these set of behaviours draw out and that's what you think you can see. Sometimes we spot one or two behaviours and that's when we think, so it's mad because I'm saying they spot it and I'm also saying don't spot it in the, on the other one. But it's like, spot it, but also sometimes let things play out because that person, let's just use me as an example, me with a girl, yeah, so she hasn't done something, hasn't met my expectations, so I think X, Y, and Z is going to happen, that's going to leave me feeling, duh, 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 duh. I know what's going to happen, I know what's going to happen next, it always happens, duh, duh, duh. that's another one as well, seeing like things like always, don't use that term, because what's it called now when you use that term? Um, say, oh, you never do that, or you always do this, it's called, um, I can't remember right now, but this, these things, doing things like that is a mental health kind of issue. Um, catastrophizing, that's a mental health kind of issue. Like these, when you look at like what people do, like when their mental health's going, they do these things like they catastrophize, they minimize, they, they, um, you know, like the other one where it's uh, like saying, saying things like always and never. Um, there's a few things, but what, if you can clear those things up, then mental health, uh, like repairs itself, do you know what I mean? Because you can see what you're doing and then you just don't do it and then you don't get that reaction. So it's not this knock and effect, this snowball that because you're just trapped in this cycle. 
So yeah, just let things play out, but you make your good decisions in the meantime. Don't be reactive. Don't be making bad decisions. Yeah, they've gone and tried to take a puppy and just either hold it down or just leave. You know what I mean? If you were a Fed ringer, ring the Fed. Don't fight back. Do you know what I mean? And make things worse and then, do you know what I mean? Like, or something. Unless you're defending yourself, then defend yourself. Um, but don't make excuses to defend yourself. Like, I was doing it when really, nah, you could have walked off. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so, your past will tell you everything you need to know, yeah? About why you do it, what you do when you do it, what they do that makes you want to do it. And also, alhamdulillah, couldn't hold that one back. Um, also, what you can do differently. But you can learn that in the present as well. Because you look back and think, oh, do you know what? I could have left there or I didn't have to go there or shit, I shouldn't have written that text. Do you know what I mean? Or if I did write that text, I didn't have to be arsey. Do you know what I mean? Because I've like triggered them because you can just trigger people and people trigger you and you know, but it's being a step above. It's being on that like, some people say that higher vibration, higher frequency, the bigger person, taking the higher road, no matter what you call it, it's taking, it's just taking a more positive route because where it is, being on all these things, I'm just saying these heavy, high freaks and all this, it's just leaving you in a better situation moving forward. Like, because when we react shit to a shit person that's done something shit to us, we end up with a shit life. So we have to take responsibility for what we do. Yes, they contributed. Yes, they did and that. But half of the time, it's our decisions that I stayed. I decided to do whatever. I decided to get the drinks in. I decided to drink to oblivion. I decided that like, well, that decision made it so that I don't know what I'm doing now. And then every decision after that's just a mad one. I can't really remember. But I've just created some chaos that when I'm next day, I've got to live with. I can't face it because of the shame. So I'm either going to deny it or throw it back on them. So I'm next blaming. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm still trying to think what it's called when you say always and never. But anyway. Um, so yeah, so what do I do? What makes me do it? What can I do differently? Do you know what I mean? Your past will give you all the clues that you need, especially if you're big age like me, because you've just had loads of experience doing it. Like there's loads of, because this thing, and as the, the older you get, you see how people get bitter, more bitter as you get older, because the older you get, sometimes things can happen to you change. Do you know what I mean? But a lot of the time, if you just live like on a, on a, just a regular life, like kind of thing, like you just get more and more bitter and more and more snappy and more and more because it's been happening more and more so it's built on top of you so you're doing it more and more but you're adding to it you've got to take yourself out of that cycle and just let that cycle play out with all them people all that madness all that lifestyle but you're just over here like watching it just like yo <laughs> look at them doing that look at them doing that I used to do that I ain't doing that no more do you know what I mean like this is your choices but some people just like just love to be in the fuckery in the stink of it do you know what I mean like and they're your friends. So if you don't chew with them, then who you chew with? So it's hard to like be alone. It's hard to be able to find new peers. Do you know what I mean? New friends, basically. Um, and different types of partners. Because then we can look back at all our partners or all our friends and like, they, they're in all this lifestyle. No one's on a better thing. No one's on this higher thing. Everyone's on this like fake higher vibration, like whatever thing, this high, fake higher role. Because what it is, you can always tell where someone's at because once they're angry or sad, do you know what I mean? They decide to do the madness. Like... Or the madness comes out of them. Do you know what I mean? It's like, well, I thought you were... Or they'd give an excuse like, oh, well, I've had enough. Because they're still in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not about just being on a... You need to get away from... Do you know what I mean? Like, be the change you want to see. Anyway, resilience. No, we're going to hope. Um, a lot of people don't have hope. A lot of people don't have hope that they can get out of it, can find new friends. They just don't think they can do it. Like, they just don't... Like, hope as well, that's sometimes linked to, like, religion and stuff. And, you know, but hope is just literally, like, I think that is such a massively human component. It can, like... I was even reading a book one time. Man's Search for Meaning by Victor Frankl. I haven't read it all still. But Victor Frankl, Frankl, he's part of this, like, counselling thing that I'm on. Psychologist or whatever. I can't remember what type of psychology it does. I don't know if it's positive psychology. Um... And he's just there observing to death. I don't think he was a psychologist when he went in. I don't know if he was just a doctor or something. And he's telling you some insights. In, oh, he's in the camps, by the way, Nazi times. He was in them, in them camps. And he gives you an insight into these camps that you don't, never would have thought of. Like, because the, the film's always from a different point of view. Do you know what I mean? But he's saying the people in the camps, he's saying the Jews in the camps were worse than the, 
the Nazis, because what it is, they, the Nazis had them as, obviously the Nazis were bad. Um, the Jews in the camps were like, they had, had them like, uh, what are they called now? Like lackeys, like, so they gave them like menial jobs to do. And they want to, you can imagine in it for one, everyone's there starving, yeah? They're starving you, killing you off differently, like in terms of like, not even literally, just making them do some mad labours and this and that. So then if you're getting that, and they're given like a, like a piece of bread, and, and what, I don't even know if it even had out on it. Like it was like a piece of bread. I think it was soup. A piece of bread, a tiny bit of soup. And you're supposed to like, that's your sustenance. You know what I mean? So these guys that were like, they're like, I can't, fucking can't even think. You know what I mean? These like lackeys, like, so it's like, so, so it was like a hierarchy. So it's like the Nazis, these lackeys that they gave power to these Jews, even though they haven't given no powers. And then the rest of the Jews, you know what I mean? So they give it like these other Jews that could like lord over the other Jews so they could like beat them and tell them what to do. So they were like, unofficial soldiers of the, and they didn't get much, they still got trip bad, but they might have got like a little bit more bread or something or a little more, I don't know, fuck knows. It was saying they trip, man, bad, they beat you down differently. Um, but you can imagine it to get that be bit better or to think you're going to get out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like you would, like, so all he's trying to show you, he's not trying to like get onto people. He's just trying to show you the motivations that people had. He was trying to uh, say as well, like there were like other groups of like Jews in there that were, Really, really, obviously they're all Jews, so they're all like religious kind of thing, kind of. But then there was like a super group of like religious, super religious ones. So when people come in, they'd try to like, ah, oh, you know, come to us and there was a kind of super religious thing. And they, so like, there was that bare different groups and how, um, and how, um, just, just how people, what's it called? Search for meaning. So having such a meaningless life, like half knowing what's happening with people when they leave, but not fully knowing because no one said, they're going to be killed. But you kind of know people aren't coming back. Do you know what I mean? But they also were sticking them on trains and shipping them to like different... I don't know why I'm still talking about this, but it's fucking interesting though, taking them to different camps. So they're jumping on trains. But I think there was one camp, I don't know if it was Auschwitz. I don't know if Auschwitz was the only one or there was only like a... I think it was bear camps and only some of them were like death camps. Do you know what I mean? Because where it is, I think... Anyway... So yeah, so so he's just talking about how people were, and obviously there was certain bits of goodness, um, where someone could see that someone's f they're they're gone, like they're just you know they haven't eaten for time, they're just dying, they're wasting away, you know what I mean? And that person to give their one piece of bread or whatever, whatever they had to this person is still not enough. But now they're gonna go full twenty four hours or something. They used to make them stand outside in the rain for like days on end, stand up. Bearing in mind that's hard if you're fully fed. Never mind if you're not fed. Do you know what I mean? And it just broke you down if you like collapsed or fell and that. Do you know what I mean? Mad thing. And uh, if you hurt yourself like bad, like foot shank club or something, obviously you're going to hobble and thing and da da da. They're saying, do not. He saying, man's come to me and said, yo, listen, you better mask that thing there. You better not hobble. Because if you're no good for the work, like gang, chain gang, whatever thing, you're going to go to that infirmary. You're going to go to the infirmary, the place that they, they fix you. And you ain't coming back. Mental, mad, just that, that, that the, just the amount of stress that must be just on you, even when nothing's happening, <laughs> spitting, <laughs> even when nothing's happening, just the amount of stress that might, you must be under, just, just monumental. But the ease looking at it from like a proper, like when you're reading it, it's not depressive. Ease, the way he's writing it, it's like a sunny, disposition like what, what I mean by that is like it's not it's not happy about what's happening because it's his people it's his friends it's his this it's that uh, you know it may happen to him but he's just writing it from like a proper it's like a, almost like a neutral that's slightly leaning towards happy kind of thing it's, it's written from a um, it's just a strange book to, just, to, just to read just what you're reading doesn't compute with like what he's talking about kind of thing it's quite different because he's talking about doom and gloomy stuff but not in a doom and gloomy way and I've never seen anything to do with that stuff that's not done like that. Do you know what I mean? Because why wouldn't it? It's not like it's flipping a party. It, was, it is doom and gloom, but it's very thingy, but it's very, it's a good book, good book. Anyway, hope is one thing that kept people alive. That's my point. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm there, finally. Hope is what, like, that thing there, like, I don't know if animals have hope. Do you know what I mean? Maybe they do. But like that is something I think that so human hope 
Like that will keep a person going and persevering. Like just even prison. Like when you're in like a, a life sentence or an IPP, certain man, they just kill themselves or they just fuck themselves up. Like even if they ain't killed themselves, they're just a dead person walking because they're just annihilated on drugs. You know, they're getting broke down left, right and centre because they're in debt. They can't afford it. It's prison stuff. It's just extortionate. The way, the, how much things cost is just like a mental amount. Let me give you an idea. Where's a pen? Anyway, you know a pen. Big pen, yeah? Imagine a pen. Pen lid. The lid of a pen. Imagine you've got like Gandhi or something, you know, and you just scoop it up with a pen lid. That's hundred pound. The contents of that pen lid. Just ch -ch -ch. that's it's spice still. No, that's what it was. I don't think spice comes in like the Ganja form no more, like the greeny stuff. I think it comes on paper and stuff, but that was hundred pound. Not stuffed in. So to get not packed in to get more in. Just da -da 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 -da. So you can imagine how it's like clumping together so it's like big <laughs> I'm like getting ripped. Mental. People got some sick habits. That's a tiny amount. Someone has done that off in one, come back round, once they've done another. They could do like three, four, five a day, you know, 30 days a, a, a month. So we're looking at like 150, 150 like deals at 100 pound. That's like 15 bags, is it? 150, 15, that's 15 grand. No, you ain't paying 15 grand. For one month. My man's in there for 10 years. <laughs> My man's serving 10 years. Like, when it's, it's just, no, no. I'm talking millions, you know what I mean? So people just getting it, you know, da, 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 different wings, different prisons, like just living some mud life. They're just gone. Do you know what I mean? They're just not. And yeah, so just having that hope of one day getting out on your parole. Do you know what I mean? Like the hope just keeps people going. But it's a depressive place, it's suffering. Anyway, but you know, people put themselves there a lot of the time, like most of the time. So, what can you say? You know what I mean, anyway, hope, hope will keep you clinging on. So even hope. So it's not even about like being in a camp. It's not about being in prison. Just people wanting to change. Like I said, I see so many people that put up all these memes, and then the next minute they're like, "I'm involved in some 167 commenting. I'm not involved, but." I'm involved, I'm in, because I've seen a mad status or whatever they're called these days. I don't know, it was a status, but I've seen a mad status. They're putting names in. I remember the good old days, like my generation, maybe it was my generation. Names aren't in. But if we know, we know, we might ask a few people, like, because people might have been there with phone calls. I mean, this is when we're young, when we're doing all that young shit. Anyway, but they've put names in. Add to them, the names are blue, I can click on have a look. I can have a look. <laughs> and uh, they've gone sick and now there's woolly for comments. Bare of them are just people, blue naming people, just getting people in, you know what I mean? A couple ones that just got popcorn there. But then there's the real people in there that's going sick. Anyway, so one minute they're on some enlightened meme thing. I hate memes, they're just, it's just nonsense. Like it's just literally here today. Because it means nothing to no one. Because they're slightly thinking it on a super surface level. But on the deepest waters, they want to go mental. Alhamdulillah. But that's because they're embroiled in some mad lifestyle with mad people that do mad things. Do you know what I mean? Not everybody does these things. It's just your circles doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's where it is. You're not around good people. That's why this person's done this to this person. And that one's that, that, that. And now you're involving yourself. Like, you didn't have to. But feelings do get... Too much for certain people. Even like the way they start it. I'm sick of this. Or I'm finally... Da -da 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 -da, because we'll come to the end of the tether. But even if someone is getting away from something as simple as that, as their own little... Obviously, it's not that easy to just pick up and leave. You know what I mean, we haven't all got 150 bags to just buy a little tool bed somewhere. Or just got a little deposit. You know what I mean? To like just... Or, you know, you know what I mean? We're on council lists and stuff. And it's pressure. So I do get it as well. But we can also slowly phase ourselves out. There's things to do. There's ways and there's means. But like I say, like it's a plan and it's it's everything step by step. That's how the system works. It's step by step. We have to have patience. But we can bit by bit. Do you know what I mean? And we can keep ourselves involved with these people that are around. Not do the stuff that they're doing. Do that stuff less. Do you know what I mean? But enough to just blend, get by. Why you got your bidding somewhere else. You're bidding somewhere far. You're not going to tell nobody. 
But once you go to social media, like, for example, do you know what I mean? They might bump into you and you tell them you live over A, but really you live over B. You know, the ones there. You don't want no one to know anything while you're just slowly getting yourself together, stacking or whatever, or getting the bike, you know. But people don't even have hope in that, that thing there. They don't know they ain't got hope. But if you're asking them, like just say for my example, like if I'm at work or something and I'm talking to someone like, oh, so what is it that you want? What do you want to do? I don't know. Like, da, da, da. Which is fine. Like, don't get me wrong because you don't know. They're not, they don't know and they're saying I don't know. They literally don't know. I didn't know at one point. Like if anyone that knows me knows that like, you know, I've had my ups, my downs. And when I've been down, I've just, I've just been a mess. I'm like 10 stone. I'm just a ganja man. I'm just hanging around for more ganja. Like, man's clothes are just going to shit. Not like they're the best now, because I just don't buy clothes. <laughs> it's a choice this time, though. Do you know what I mean? Can't stack me, I stack me. Um, but yeah, like, because image as well. That's another thing, thing with the clothes. If you look at the last pod, image. Uh, I don't care no more. Like, I don't care as in I don't care. Like, I'm not looking after myself. Like, I do care. You know what I mean? I can put on something to look all right. But, like, looking all right all the time for no reason. For other people, like, nah, as long as I'm not naked. You know what I mean? And my things aren't too rip up or I'm not exposing myself. Like, if I, if things go downhill, I'll buy myself something, like, dip new. But other than that, for fashion and for showing off for others, nah, because that's just not going to benefit me or the future generations one bit. You know what I mean? Anyway, don't go too deep. Um, So, yeah, just having hope, hope like, having hope that you can achieve more having hope that you can be better do you know what I mean that is a massive thing like all you need to do is just set your sights on something and believe you can get there and then the next step is understanding how you can get there and then the next step is just breaking that down even more so it's like boom really it's like just say for example you're living in a mad area you got mad friends and this and that da, da, da. so like boom you need a new house all right then so boom you need to move that area is all right so it's new house in that area okay let's just say that one step new house but it comes down to a few things you've got to get your name on the list you know you've got to probably go down there you know what I mean you've got to bid you've got to look around you've got to be active you know what I mean there's a few things to just get that bit there do you know what I mean and like I say it's just having the patience but we all need more than just uh, just accommodation we need education do you know what I mean we need to educate ourselves like it doesn't have to be a big degree or something it has to be some knowledge in something that's going to generate something for us do you know what I mean something that we can use uh, something that's going to like help us stand out. I don't want to go too deep on all this stuff because we'll go on the um, what I call the seven pathways, which is like education, employment, well-being, finance, benefit, debt, children, family, communities, all these kind of things. And this is what makes up a person. And understanding that, that's when you can put your plans in place to where you want to be and get to where you want to be, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, hope is a big, big thing. Um, I'll just wrap it up with catastrophize a little bit. So obviously catastrophize, it's, you know, it's like, um, I can't think of anything right now, but it's like a derivative of catastrophe. If it were not a catastrophe, it's, it's you not know, something like bad happening, something big, whatever, big and bad happening. A big bad event and people can catastrophize things. So let's just say... I don't know if you know someone's going to lose their job like oh we're going to lose the house oh we're going to have no money oh we're going to and it's going mental with it like it's going on and on or you found out something about your partner or something or um, could be anything you tell me man do you know what I mean like you fill in the gaps you're saying I don't want to keep giving out examples because sometimes the exam my my examples or when someone gives you examples it can take you away from your own stuff do you know what I mean so just think about it, someone, someone just gone met like you probably can't even see that people are doing it but when they're like oh what's this oh, what's gonna happen now and this and that, da, 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 da. like that's just like catastrophizing the situation because it could also that same person or somebody else with the same exact set of circumstances could be like right okay so you have lost a job so possibly this that and the others in jeopardy so what can I do right, I can actively look for another job you know what I mean? I can call a favouring for whatever. I do have some savings. I can spend that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's been solution-based. Like, just having the same set of circumstances, but one person looks at it as a problem and that's all it could be. There's nothing else. It needed to be perfect. Not coping with this new situation that's coming along. 
then the person that can cope with it really well and just look at it as it is. So yeah, that's the fact. Losing my job. This is what's going to be affected. What have I got in place? Do you know what I mean? I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. Da, 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 da. And that's fine. I literally, just just like that. But then someone will go, oh, da, 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 I need to go out. Da, da, da. Run the snizzle. They're fucking, you know what I mean? Just drinking. Da, 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 da. They're losing their job. They're spending money they don't fucking have. You know, they want that to, to cope. To fucking cope. Do you know what I mean? Like, coping is like a... For the feelings. So what feelings may may they be going through? You tell me. There's rejection in there. <laughs> but obviously, they're going to be going through some feelings. There's going to be massive amounts of worry. Do you know what I mean? Fear. Fear's kicked in. You know the ones there? Emotions, fear. Worried is the feeling. Do you know what I mean? Worried, scared, you know, so it, it makes sense to the reaction. But like I say, there's just different types of coping. Someone not coping with it well, and like I say, possibly turning to substances because it's a coping mechanism. It numbs the feeling or the change in how they feel through chemicals, drinking, smoking, cigarettes, da -da 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 -da. sniffing, you know what I mean, injecting, whatever. Um, but then someone is coping with it without doing all that stuff because they've got means already or like just said they don't have that kind of coping mechanism so they don't drink on a date so they've just got more money to when that happens they can cope like they can deal with it better they've got more savings because they're not just wasting because when you drink your money or smoke your money it's just gone for no like it's just gone like it's cigarettes last for what 40 seconds a minute or something fuck knows I never fucking count like Spliff lasts for what? Can, 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 can last, make that last depending on how big it is and how many. So I used to just suck mine down differently. You know what I mean? Pause. And, uh, you know, drink just... And it's just gone. And things are expensive, so it's just proper... And it's each to their own, do you know what I mean? But I just it's a proper waste of money, me. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's just no to show for it. Do you know what I mean? Except, like, just health issues and... Uh, Life issues, you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it. That's catastrophized. So I was looking at it in a certain way, you know, being problem centered with it and just blowing it up to way more than it is. Do you know what I mean? Because like I say, same set of circumstances, one person dealing with it bad, catastrophizing, one person dealing with it all right, they're being solution based and just getting it done and getting on with it and finding and doing things, being active in like probably looking for a job straight away, da, 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 rather than wasting time, getting drunk, having to come over the uh, thing here, having to talk to 25 people, do you know what I mean? Probably getting drunk again, da, 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 or, or, or any substance. And then maybe finally coming to the solution that person B came to immediately. Do you know what I mean? It's just different, different types of coping. But yeah, so that's it. Quick one. I have to fly. Hopefully this type of one was all right. There wasn't too many stories in this one. Um, but examples galore. Anyway, that's it. Marcus, DQ and Q Lifestyle Podcast. 